the Rock and Roll Tarot Deck. It's a groovy deck designed to unlock your psychic potential. Combining the iconic tarot imagery of Pamela Coleman Smith with rock poster art to reveal a fresh new take on an ancient oracle. Each card contains keywords to help memorize the meanings, but as you progress, the text shapes may change and morph to reveal much more. Allow your mind to wander so that spirit can communicate with you through the illustrations on the cards. The Rock and Roll Tarot deck is a full 78 card deck. The extra large size enables you to see the cards clearly and enjoy the vibrant artwork. Created by spiritual artist Vicki Verley who is a seasoned tarot reader herself, this beautiful deck is meant to grow with you as you progress forward on your path. Be sure to tune into Vicky's YouTube channel for free monthly card readings and broadcasts from the universe. Hi Scorpio, thanks for joining me for the April of 2016 Tarot Scope and Animal Totem reading. So the deck is here, the new deck is here. We're going to use the Rock and Roll Tarot deck. I finally finished it. And um, then we're going to pull, as always, a card from the Animal Totem uh, deck. I hope that everybody gets a message from this. If you don't, then um, be sure to check your rising sign and moon sign. I changed my cloth, too, because it came to my attention, and several people contacted me, that there was another reader on YouTube who has a very similar backdrop um, that I, to my old one, the blue watery, and um, was using, you know, it it did look the same, so, I mean, I'm not going to get uh, worried about it, but I just thought, well, new deck, new cloth, and uh, these cards are bigger, too, so I didn't, I needed a bigger cloth anyway. I mean, eventually I'll do one of those um, things with my cartoon face, but I just, um, I don't know, I need a break. <laughs> and the coloring book's out, too, and I haven't, uh, it's, I don't have it in my hand to show it. I wanted to wait till I got the coloring book, but I was so excited to need, use the new deck that I couldn't. I could not wait. So we're gonna go go ahead with it. If you want to find out any of that stuff, look at that eye in the sky in the upper right corner. You can find out, and don't forget to hit subscribe down here. There's our first card. Okay, let me get these cards out for Scorpio. Four. I was going to say March, but it's April 2016. I want to say March of 2015, of all things. So maybe for some of you that has some bearing. But I know it's April. We're talking about April, baby. 2016 and Scorpios. What is going on? Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> My rings are coming off. This one's a little bit, it's a little too big for this third finger, but too small for the other finger. One of those deals. Okay. Probably should have flipped that, but it just seemed like it wanted to come that way. Here's one. Okay, Scorpio, what is going on here? All right. All right, so here's the spread. Let's get it organized a little better. Um, these new cards are so cool. I've been doing readings, you know, since yesterday I've been playing with them. And I'm even seeing stuff, you know, and I, this is just my first dive into them, really. And um, there's going to be a lot of stuff revealed through these cards. because And people were like, well, how come you didn't see it when you were making it? I really didn't because I was just so focused on, you know, da-da-da. And now I can back up and really look at it for real. i got to take this right there. It wants to go on that one. We're going to switch fingers. That may solve that irritating problem. Okay, so definitely when I'm holding these cards, I'm going to hold them all up. And if I, if I do it too quick, freeze you can freeze frame it. But look at it. Allow your mind to wander. Or if you think it sees, says one thing and it's really... Don't, don't second guess that. That's your psychic working, okay? So it's cool. All right, well, the first card out here is the Knight of Pentacles with the Wish card. Let me go, I'll just hold these two up for you guys. Let me uh, get my hands out of the way if I can. So you can really see all the stuff. Okay. And 
Nine of Pentacles, you know, again, if you've never seen my reading, anytime there's people involved, that it could be anybody. I'm not going to say that this is definitely a man, okay? Uh, but it totally could be. Uh, and I'll refer to it as a man, but it really it could be a, a female anyways. But the thing, the point I wanted to make is that we are going to be going, moving into Taurus, uh, Earth sign, during the time of April on the 19th, the sun moves into Taurus. So that could be something about that transition at the time of then, of the 19th, as the sun moves into Taurus. But it could also be talking about just after that, because the 19th on, um, the April 30th days, right, 19th through 30th, will be in Taurus time. So it could be talking about, you know, that little bit later on time during then. And um, your wish card. So that's always your wishes coming true, plain and simple. So if you did have like a yes or no question in mind, uh, then definitely you, it's a yes, okay? Fool says you got to take a chance. Fool and Wheel of Fortune are here. Really good. Uh, Fool is like you got to be open, you got to take a chance. What is Fool moving towards? He's moving towards the wish card. I guess I can hold Fool up if you want to take a look at it. So, um, you know, he's taking this open hearted, he's taking this leap, he's taking this chance. And um, say hi. <laughs> I love these cards. I just saw hi, H I. So I, I feel like you gotta go drop in and say hi. So maybe it's you gotta drop somebody a note or an email or a text or something and just say hi. Um, and it's gonna lead to something. Offer the pinnacle people are money too, and you do have you know there's like quite a bit of pinnacle cards showing up here. But it could be at any capacity. You know, uh, the Knight of Pentacles doesn't have to be involved with you in a financial way. Maybe they are involved romantically or otherwise. Wheel of Fortune is such a good card. You know, that's what's really drawing me in here. It's destiny, uh, windfall, uh, fate, risk, risk, you know. There's risk involved. That's the part I wanted to get to about the Wheel of Fortune. So sometimes there's a risk, like no risk, no gain. You know, sometimes you got to take a chance, you got to take a shot, right? Um, Wheel also says that things are kind of turning in your favor. When wheel is upright like this, it's like things are kind of taking a turn. They're kind of changing. They're kind of going in in your way now. You know, things are kind of uh, the winds of change. Is what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing. Actually, I saw this cups. This cup. I love this deck. <laughs> I saw cups and it said I I saw change. That said change, not cups. It changed the word change. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so the winds of change. You know. Are coming. That's a Scorpion's tune too. Uh, winds of change. If you want to uh, look up the lyrics to that, maybe there's some um, relevance. But the winds of change are afoot. <laughs> are afoot or fat? It says really. It says faith, but that made me say foot. You know. Oh, I'm loving this. So let your mind roll too. I won't. I won't keep doing that too much. But um, the winds of change are afoot. And it's a relief from some struggle, plain and simple. You know, this is here. And what the fool's turning away from the struggle. He's got his back turned on the struggle, and he's going towards the wish card over here. Uh, maybe you need, if you do need money to make this dream happen, you know, go for it. I mean, maybe that's what it is, why all these pinnacles, like they're going to show up for you in that Taurus time. Uh, you have the, the moon here, too, down at the bottom. This follows down the wish card. Your wish is coming true. Wheel is here. Timing is right. It says timing is right also. And, and then dreams. You're going to be real psychic and aware this month. And you Scorpios are anyway. I think Scorpios, Pisces and Scorpio are the two most psychic uh, signs all in general. So, you know, you guys um, definitely are able to tune in. So tune in. You know, feel. Feel that wind of change. The thing about wind uh, is it's subtle. Wind isn't banging you over the head. You know, wind is, is, is a gentle breeze, and it just, uh, it's like a subtle, tickly, it's a tickly kind of thing uh, with it. And dreams, is, the word dreams is standing out to me so strong on that card, so I feel like things are going to come to you through your dreams. But it also can be taking, like, your dreams are coming true here, you know. The other thing here, when I first saw these two cards plop out together here, um, Six of Cups is a reunion. On all these cards, what I did, the, the strongest keyword that I feel is really the strongest keyword, that I, if I had to pick one keyword, is usually the one I put on top, okay? So, you know, there's other things. Love, sweet, children, happy, Six of Cups. Often it's reunion, though, connecting with somebody from the past. I feel like a lot of you are going to be running into somebody. When Wheel and Six of Cups show up together like that, that's really cool. It means, like, 
yeah, uh, out of the blue, uh, synchronicity. When you're not even thinking about it, there they are. Somebody's going to show up. And often with the Six of Cups, it is somebody that, well, it always is somebody you had an emotional connection with. But often it could be like an old, you know, an old high school sweetheart. That word sweet is standing out to me. That's why I had to say sweetheart. Oh, this, I love this deck. I, I, I'm sorry I keep saying I love this deck, but I'm just so excited about it. I saw sweet, and that turned into a heart for me. So spirit is talking through these babies. Yeah. All right, so an old sweetheart or something like that uh, might show up. But it's always happy. It's always happy good stuff with the Six of Cups, all right? Or you, it has, could have to do with children. Or somebody, your own children if you have them, or know of other, you know, other people's children. Or your own childhood, too. Your own childhood. Could be a childhood sweetheart that you run into. Or it's like recapturing these happy times. Some of you may be going back to, they just, they just showed me. Uh, some of you may be going back to um, maybe that area that you grew up in. Or old childhood where you grew up at, and if you have, if you've moved away from there, you may be going back to that place. That could be a thing too. Okay, patience is here. So strength. You know what? Uh, strength is always. You know, you got to have strength. You got to have patience. Um, you got to hang in there. Uh, it's not about sudden change. As much as wheel is about sudden change, strength is not about sudden change. So I feel like in a lot of cases, what this is is this is like the glimmer. Like it could just be real, it could be just a quick flash or a little snippet that you remember from your dream. But it don't, don't just um, disregard that. You know, go back to, um, it's, it's true, it's a, it's a glimmer, it's, a, it's, a, it's just showing you something, all right? Because I keep going back to, we've got these three cards. The two sevens, which these are about kind of stressing and, you know, uh, and... Um, you know, the Ten of Rods is like carrying this heavy burden. So if you're in an Ace of Pentacles and some Reverse, that's another thing I want to get to. But let's finish my thought here. You know, um, sometimes we see these little glimmers or these little signs or these little sparkles along our road. Or, or a little, we would be doing something and a little flash of a dream will uh, pop into our head. And we just, oh well, back to thinking about what I was thinking about. I got to get this work done. I got to pay this bill. You know. You don't take time to sit with it and be with it, which is the moon energy. You know, that's what it is. You have to sit with it and be with it and cultivate it a little. Okay, and the fool, this open-hearted fool over here, he's not stressing about money and all the the jobs I got to get done. I got to finish the tasks I have to accomplish. You know, fool's not stressing about that. Okay, and strength. Um, also is uh, you can't it, it, this kind of stuff makes me feel like you're like I want it now 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 no 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 you gotta just slow down and allow it to happen allow it to blossom allow it to unfold this just turned into the word fold this I'm, I'm freaking out I'm loving this uh, allow it to unfold you know so yeah cool because there is money coming you do have the page of pentacles showing up here you got and all the young dudes carry the news as I always say you know, so um, you got the two guys bringing the money here in. The people are bring, the money's coming to you, and it's probably going to hit around Taurus time again, nineteenth or later. We'll be in Taurus from the nineteenth on. Um, there is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, so there is something, and it's by this frustration, these this frustration energy over here. Some of you, and look at these upside down too, because the letters upside down are going to be even different stuff, which is going to, I can't wait to get into that even. Oh, yeah, you want it now. <laughs> you want it now. Um, if it's not coming now, then this frustration is for a reason. It's to kind of, it, it can sometimes mean, you know, when you, when you meet against adversity, like with this and stress and these kind of, and you're carrying this heavy load, you know, it's like the universe is kind of trying to like, you can't, you're beating it with your head. You can't, these kind of cards are you're beating it with your head and you're too much, um, you know, I'm going to plow through and I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it happen, you know. That's just going to get you a sore head. <laughs> Bang, banging your head against the wall and get you a, a headache, okay. Um, slow down. This is clear. We're talking about slowing down here, allowing things to happen, allowing it to unfold, allowing 
getting in touch with this thing. These two cards stand out to me the most in this spread. I want to come right here. So, um, and it, the uh, Wheel of Fortune is all things in good time, too. You know, all things uh, come in the right time. Everything comes when it's supposed to. And being like this, you know, these cards isn't going to make it happen any faster. It's just going to give you a sore head, like I said, okay? <laughs> ah, all right. I, I'm, thanks for bearing with me. I know I'm kind of getting, oh, look at this, look at this. But um, I'm so intrigued. And the things that are coming through are relevant to the reading. See, normally things come through and I don't stop and tell you how I got there, you know. But uh, this is like a new, a new line of communication. I'm loving it. I'm just loving it, okay? And I think it could work for everybody. That's what that's what's even cooler about it. And it's cool if you're just learning too, because you got some keywords to go by, right? But um, if you're already there and you don't need the keywords, start looking at this stuff. There's some crazy stuff going on in there. It's fun. I'm having fun anyway. All right, so Scorpio. Oh, don't forget, take a look up there in that eye in the sky. You can find out how to get the book, the two decks, all the other stuff. My adult coloring book, which came out, but I don't have in hand. Hit subscribe down here and look below for the rest of the stuff, Facebook and all that. All right, Scorp. Horse. I like horse. Okay, hopefully I'll remember to put it in, but if I don't, freeze frame and take a look. All right. Magic, divination, astral travel, journey. Ride like the wind to the furthest reaches. Wasn't I talking about the wind? Wasn't I saying the winds had changed and scorpion? This is so cool. Ah. Expand beyond your comfort zone and explore the realm of possibility. Well, that's totally fits perfectly for everything I was saying. Um, but this whole thing about uh, the astral travel and the journey and all that, this dream, this uh, moon energy, and about how you guys are psychic and stuff like that. So um, you're psychic, but you also have your feet on the ground and you're real driven and you're, you're hard working. And that's a good attribute, but if you're, again, the beating the head, you're just going to get the headache. But the cool thing is how this said about the wind. Ride like the wind to the furthest reaches. And I kept seeing wind. Oh, it, was, it was here, but I'm seeing it in Wish, too. Wind and the winds of change. So I think we should look up that song, The Winds of Change, too, if anybody has a minute. Copy and paste it in that thing. The Winds of Change by Scorpions. Okay, Scorpio. And by the Scorpions. Holy crap. <laughs> it's totally meant for you. we got to look it up now. Because I'm reading for Scorpio, and that song is by the Scorpions. This is crazy good. I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. I'm sorry. I'm getting all excited. I'm just excited in general because the new deck's out. But hopefully you got a message. If you didn't, check your rising and moon sign. All right, everybody. Thanks to you guys for watching, liking, sharing, uh, everything you do to support the channel, especially donating because that makes you know time for me to do this stuff and these free readings and everything. All right. Have a great April 2016. Remember your love and beauty incarnate, and I'll speak to you soon.